ready to use my second conversion. One quart is two pints. Now if one of these goes on top, the other goes on the bottom. I'm trying to cancel pints. So that means the two pints goes on the bottom, leaves one quart on top. Let's go back and look at the math of this. One pint over 16 fluid ounces is equal to one. I can multiply by one without changing the value of the quantity. Now this is one because I'm dividing a number by itself. One pint is 16 fluid ounces. So this would be the same as 16 fluid ounces divided by 16 fluid ounces, which is one. So I'm multiplying by one. Again, here I'm multiplying by one. But I'm accomplishing my goal because I'm changing units. See, my pints will cancel. Now I've changed the units through these two processes from fluid ounces to pints, and then pints into quarts. Quart is what I wanted. Well, if you do the math on this, you'll get the answer is 4, because I can reduce by 16. 16 goes into 16, 1. 16 goes into 128. 8, 2 will go into 2, 1, 2 goes into 8, 4, 4 times 1 times 1 is 4, 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, 4 over 1 is 4, so the answer is 4 quarts. Let's look at the steps in unit analysis. Now I put a star there because you really need to know these steps. The first step is to list the route. How can you get there? Once you list the route, you write the conversion facts. And these are the conversion facts that you've memorized. Then you form the multiplication chain. You want to form the multiplication chain so you're canceling units you don't want and being left with units that you do want. Once you get the units fixed, then you do the calculations. Probably the hardest part of the process is listing the route, deciding how you want to go. I have some little charts to help you with the route. Let's first of all look at the route for length. I have a conversion fact between inches and feet. 12 inches is 1 foot. I have a conversion fact between feet and yards. Three feet is one yard. I have a conversion fact between feet and miles. One mile is 5,280 feet. So I can go from inches to feet, feet to inches, yards to feet, feet to yards, feet to miles, miles to feet. I have no conversion fact between inches and miles. So if I'm trying to convert inches to miles, I have to go from inches to feet and then miles. Likewise, if I'm trying to convert from miles to yards, I have to go from miles to feet and then yards. So I'm going to have to have the third factor. Now with weight, I have two facts. I have a fact between ounces and pounds and between pounds and tons. So I can go directly from ounces to pounds. I can go directly from pounds to tons. So if I want to go from ounces to tons, I must have to go through pounds first. Ounces to pounds to tons. Capacity is a bit more complicated. 
I have a conversion from fluid ounces to cups and from fluid ounces to pint. I have a conversion from cups to pint. So here I go straight from fluid ounces to pint, straight from fluid ounces to cups, straight from cups to fluid ounces, straight from cups to pints. I can go from pints to quarts. I can go from quarts to gallons. But if I want to go from fluid ounces to gallons, I've got to go from fluid ounces to pints to quarts and then to gallons. If I want to get from cups to quarts, I can go from cups to pints to quarts. I guess I could go cup, fluid ounce, pints, and quarts, but it's normally best to go the shortest route. So this is how you can prepare your routes. And I'll be referring back to these as I do a couple more problems for you. Let's convert 150 pounds to tons. Convert 150 pounds to tons. The first step is to get the route. Well, I want to get from pounds to tons. Well, if you look, I can go straight from pounds to tons. I've got a direct route. So all I have to do is go from pounds to tons. So I can go straight from pounds to tons. The second step is to list the conversion fact. Now you must memorize this one. We know that 2,000 pounds is one ton. So that's the conversion fact. 2,000 pounds is one ton. The third, you form your multiplication chain. You always start with the given of quantity over 1. Now, you multiply by your conversion fact. One of these will go on top, one will go on the bottom. So one is always on top, the other is on the bottom. You decide what goes on the bottom based upon what you're trying to cancel. I'm trying to cancel pounds and be left with tons. So if I want to cancel pounds from the numerator, I have to have a pounds in the denominator. So the 2,000 pounds goes in the denominator, the one ton is left in the numerator. Pounds will cancel, so my answer is in tons. Now that I have the units fixed, I can do my calculations. So I have 150 over 1 times 1 over 2,000 tons. Well, I can divide by 50. I can reduce by 50. 50 goes into 153. 50 goes into 2,040. See, I'm doing 50 into 2,000. 50 won't go into 20. 50 goes into 204. 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 5 is 20. And 50 won't go into 0, so I get 40. So then when I multiply, 3 times 1 is 3. 1 times 40 is 40, so I get 3 fortieths of a ton. convert one-fourth of a gallon to fluid ounces. One-fourth of a gallon to fluid ounces. Well, I can't go straight from gallons to fluid ounces. Let's look at my sheet and see how I can go. I'm at gallons. I want to get to fluid ounces. Well, I can go from gallons to quarts to pints, to fluid ounces. So this is going to be my route. Gallons to quarts, quarts to pints, pints to fluid ounces. So see, by following that route, I can get from gallons to fluid ounces. 